it's a little known piece of trivia about Abraham Lincoln that he was a great cat lover. Abe would come in the house after a day at work and he would sit there with his boys and play with the kittens for hours. I've always been a cat lover. Cats have always been my first love. Uh, so I mean that that's another little known little known similarity. It is a high honor, it, it is a tremendous privilege, and it is a great responsibility to wear this face and to present Abraham Lincoln to, to our, our times. I, I marvel again and again every time I perform at how timeless his wisdom continues to be. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty, and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Somehow or another, whether, 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 I'm happy kitty. <laughs> oh. He's trying to get out of, out of his prison back there. He, he still lives in the American psyche, somehow or another. Uh, I, I want to know, are you okay, Mom? Was that you or the cat? That was me. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> he lives idealized, clearly, uh, in, in the American psyche. I, th I think, and even more, he, he lives in the world psyche in some way or another. Uh, and uh, you know, find, finding that out, experiencing it, what was, was a real epiphany. You know, and before that, I mean, for me, Abraham Lincoln was, you know, the 16th president, he freed the slaves, and that's pretty much about all. From 944 to 1044, we have an Abraham Lincoln Assembly sponsored by Stanwood Economic Development. Third I know period little about my paternal grandfather, Abraham Lincoln, whose namesake I am, save that he immigrated to Kentucky from Rockingham County, Virginia, about 1781 or two, where a year or two later he was killed by Indians. Not in battle but by stealth. One day, Maureen said, uh, you know, shaved off your mustache, you look pretty much like Abraham Lincoln, and I did, and suddenly there it was, his face in the mirror and not mine anymore. He walked out of the bathroom and I went, holy crap, Lance, you look like him. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> it's like, well, I guess we can fall back on something. It's like, because at that point he was headed off to other things. He was such a bum that summer. Just let his face grow and, you know, because I didn't marry Abraham Lincoln 30 years ago. I married Frank Zappa. I look like Frank Zappa. <laughs> I don't do it as often as I would like, let's put it that way. Um, I probably do, oh, 40 or 50 presentations a year, uh, weekends, school visits, things like this. If I could do one, one, one and a half presentations on average per week, year round, I wouldn't need to do anything else. Thank you, and with whom am I speaking today? And I would more than double what I made from my day job. <laughs> so, I'm right on the edge. Right on the edge. Just one more little, and that'll be it. It's a, a powerful feeling to walk in the places where he walked. Walking in his house, I feel like I'm walking into my house. Walking up the steps to the Lincoln Memorial. You want to be in a picture, Glenn? Anybody who goes there, I mean that that place is special. No, no matter where, you know, who you are, where you're from, you 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 feel like you're in a cathedral, and you you, re, you really just can't talk. Uh, and but I walk up that those steps, and I see me sitting up there, 
it's so it's amazing. Where do you think? Around the clock or where? Uh, uh, clock, you what's down. distinguished? Just say, right. A lot of times we just do it against the wall. Uh -huh. We can move a couple things if we need to. Or... Here I'll quote my son. You know, he said, you know something, Dad? If we had a lot of money, people would call you eccentric. But since we don't, you're just plain weird. Uh, which is probably true. When I was a, when I was a kid, it was uh, a little embarrassing, I guess. But the older I get, the more I know that my dad appreciates it a lot. And you were real little. I don't think it was embarrassing. No, no, it wasn't. But you know, when I was middle school and early high school, it was it was a little embarrassing. <laughs> but the older I get, I think the more, like I said, I appreciate it, and I know my dad enjoys it. I'm six five and a half. I'm two inches taller than he was. His hat was nine inches high from the brim to the top of the crown. This is seven. Good for you. So when I put my hat on, the distance from the top of my hat to the ground is exactly the same as it was for him, only for me, two inches of it is more leg, probably. And for him, two inches of it is more hat. Thank you. Yes, sir. We politicians have a great sense of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One priest in a sermon I heard many years ago, he said, God loves us all just the way we are, but too much to leave us that way. <clears throat> well, that's something that, that's always spoken, that phrase has always spoken to me. <laughs> This is how my day goes. Another part of Abraham Lincoln's life, cleaning up the kitchen. <laughs> Not much married in Fiji and do this. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved. 